Hey, this is Mike again. In a previous video, I introduced Panasonic's Large Single Sensor Internal Expansion Lens, or LaSeal technology. Remember? That's how Panasonic has been able to use a single chip larger sensor and resizing optics in the camera, so you can get 4K camera performance like a digital cinema camera but with two-thirds inch broadcast style optics. We get some common questions. Q1. Did we really get good 4K resolution? Q2. Did our internal optics introduce new distortion? Q3. What about depth of field? Is it shallow like a cinema camera? Q4. Is this a one-off solution or a new approach we can move into the future with? First of all, did we achieve sufficient 4K resolution for a 4K broadcast? 2160 TV lines would be the theoretical resolution for a UHD 4K, but with a real physical camera, the achievable resolution is about 2000 due to optical and other physical limitations. Many current 4K single-chip cameras use 8.3 million pixels sensors, and in this case, they can chart a resolution of 1800 TV lines, which has proven to be sufficient for most applications. In practice, there are few 2 thirds inch 4K lenses that can resolve 2000 TV lines, and even then, 2000 TV lines may be limited to a fraction of the zoom range. What's more, with the cost of the 4K lenses, many are sticking with HD lenses for budgetary reasons. If you plan to use high-quality HD lenses, then the 1800 TV lines of our first LaSeal imaging systems will most likely saturate the resolution capabilities of those lenses. But keep in mind, sensors for single-chip cameras are advancing quickly due to the large and diverse market and 6K and 8K sensors are on the way, so obviously the resolution capabilities of LaSeal technology are just getting going. Sensitivity and dynamic range will improve as well, even if and when pixels on larger sensors get smaller. Resolution sensitivity and dynamic range will all surpass the three-chip systems in time. So how about distortion? Take a look at this picture. Panasonic has confirmed the performance of the distortion of the internal lens in the laboratory while developing the single sensor 4K camera in terms of 1. Color aberration 2. Lens peripheral resolution 3. MTF Keep in mind that unlike an external adapter that relies on the precise mounting on the camera which can change, the internal optics are attached to the imager during the manufacturing process where any optical flaws are adjusted, so there are no distortions to be concerned with. You can use this technology without any worry. About the depth of field. You might expect the depth of field of a large sensor to become shallower than a small sensor, and bokeh occurs. This comes from experience with digital cinema cameras. Although it is not a direct effect, of sensor size, rather it is a function of focal length, iris, and circle of confusion. To match the same angle of view in a large sensor camera, a longer focal length is required, and this decreases depth of field. So depth of field is indirectly affected by sensor size. Thus, for a camera with a large sensor, Shooting the same angle of view, the depth of field becomes shallow. So how about shooting with LaSeal technology? Because the same 2 thirds inch lenses are used at the same focal length, the depth of field is the same. That means you can shoot at a sports stadium with the same feeling as the previous 2 thirds inch cameras. So from the operator's perspective, nothing need be done differently. In many cases, the studio cameras are used as regular HD cameras and sometimes may be used for 4K. With Panasonic 4K studio cameras, the HD signal creation is always accomplished with down conversion from 4K signal. 
even in HD mode, the sensor and signal process work in 4K mode, and at the last, output process is down converted to HD. Therefore, there is no additional concern with Moiré in HD mode as with 4K. Use this camera just like an HD camera. So, I hope I have addressed any concerns with performance for our first Lucille cameras. But now I would like to explain the cost performance advantages for any future 4K camera using this Lucille technology. This technology is a good way to realize a cost-effective 4K studio camera for today and the future. Because there is no need to use three expensive full 4K resolution sensors. Unfortunately, two-thirds inch sensors are only used in the broadcast market. With this limited market size, dramatic price declines for the future cannot be expected. On the other hand, the 4K single-chip large sensor can be used for still cameras and industrial cameras. Because of the diverse and large markets for large sensor cameras, varied and rapid technology advances can be expected. For Panasonic, this technology has a bright future. For example, an 8K camera that is planned ahead of 4K. We are studying the use of a 1.25 inch or larger single chip sensor and Lucille. So to move forward to 8K or continue to drive better price performance in 4K, Lucille is a viable plan. In conclusion like this, so as we are driven to deliver better, faster and cheaper, as always, Lucille technology will even help into 8K and beyond. Thank you for listening till the end. Panasonic will continue to develop innovative technologies like this in the future, as I hope you have come to expect. And when we do, I hope to be back and explain some more. See you! Panasonic.